Yeah. Maybe want some tahini. You know what I'm saying? Tacos. Marito. She wants some uh tamales. Time to eat. For random. Side profile of crab is it? Damn, dude. Why do you need? We go to the veggie aisle. He be doing some jumping jacks while eating the food. He could be doing something. Yo, what that's wake up. Yo, that bill. I thought that was like a sleep paralysis demon. <laughs> What's up, guys? Extra blessing you know, welcome back to my 600 power life TLC. So now, listen, y'all. We back up on that joint, bro. Hey, last episode, somebody in the comment section said I was I, I was being too mean. All right, if y'all watch these videos, y'all know everything is for jokes. Okay, it's all for entertainment. I'm, I'm joking. I'm just playing. When I watch these videos, man, my, my mind just, it be racing. I just be saying some crazy stuff, and I don't mean it. If you don't, you know what I'm saying? If you don't like that, th that's cool. You don't got to watch. I mean, I'm not, you know what I'm saying? Like that. Do whatever you want, man. I'm, you know, I'm just, hey, man, I'm, I'm just, I'm being me. You know, I'm not serious. Like, I, I, I wish the genuine best for these people, bro. I'm just joking. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you know, if you, of course, if you know, if you don't want to watch, that's cool. Like, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm just, hey, I'm being me, bitch. But anyways, man, besides all that stuff, let's get straight to the jump, bro. I'm gonna try to be more. <laughs> I'm gonna try to be more nice this episode, all right? Cause you know, like, yeah, let, let go. Being this overweight, everything I do is hard. Fucking camera keep blurring out. It's a struggle. I need a right for my face. Things are so hard for me. I've lost motivation to do anything for myself. I'm in pain and yeah. I feel helpless, worthless. I've already got into a diabetic. That be doing. Oh my god, what's that? I'm trying to be nice, but it's like, what, what, when I see stuff like that, what was that? Bro, why do my camera keep blurring up? Damn! What the fuck, baby? when I see shit like that, what, what, what was that? And there was so much fat around my neck, it was suffocating me. Damn, that's tough. So they tough. had to do a tracheotomy just so I could breathe while oh I was unconscious. Meet Lupe Simano, a 39-year-old woman living right. in San Bernardino, California. Lupe weighs 642 pounds, God and she Lord. just can't see herself going on this way for much longer. I guess you could say intimacy is impossible. Wait me one second. What the fuck was... I feel... Oh, boy, tired. He ain't even doing that bit tired. <laughs> yeah, come on, bro. <laughs> that, that bit moved. Like, he did, like, six steps, and he tired. That bit sick. I'm taking care of me. He got the I'm towel and everything. Here. Like you working on a car or something. Life living this way. Not only has her weight affected her relationship, I'd be it's affected bad the way Lupe people, views like, herself too. When I was young, I thought I was a normal look. weight. I was a little. Ch when they be little, it's like they 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 be so they, like bro. They, you know what I'm saying? Like they don't be looking like how they do now. Like chunky. That's gonna be crazy. And happy. When I was five, my dad. I'd be like post Malone. Hold on. Left. I felt like my. Hey amigo. And that's when I remember starting to go to food to feel better. By the time I was six years old, I was already 100 pounds. Right, bye, At such a young age, Lupe has practically been confined to her bed for almost a decade. But with the kind of childhood she had, Lupe couldn't turn to anything else but food for comfort. I started getting so... No, nah, I'm good. I'm not... What? I'm not laughing. No, nah, I'm just... Cause it, you know, big. I'm and I less and less, and I had to drop out of school. Right. And for two decades, I've been dropping out of school. Started selling dolphins. Being this size is only life. That'd be a little like. You know, now I have to be completely taken care of. And the only person I have in my life to take care of me is Gilbert. Things that have gotten to sad, a point bro. where even now, hey, Lupe she, uses she chilling. She, she, that said, she just chilling, his bro. food as a way to relieve stress and deal with how horrible her life has become. Normally, I'm not attractive to big people. I so, mean, but it's like, you big too, so I don't either. When I saw the picture of Lupe. What, what the fuck was that, boy? What? I heard something. I was upset, but I already started to care about her. I'm going to take a morning sooner later. I know that being I'm bread and tea and crumpets. But food is my comfort. And I'm scared not having it there. That's For her crazy. first meal of the day, Lupe sends her partner out to grab her a bunch of breakfast sandwiches and pastries that God, easily damn. add around a thousand calories to her plate. What and this is fuck? just the beginning. I really Can I get some of that shit? That she wants. But if I don't damn. do it, she'll find her niece or someone to do it for her. That's crazy. 
So it's like, fuck you, nigga. If you ain't gonna come through, bitch, you ain't gotta come through. I got some else to come through, bitch. I got niggas, you know what I'm saying? I got a whole squad with me. That be want some tahini. You know what I'm saying? Tacos, burritos. She want some uh tamales. Boy, that shit be busting, nigga. Hey, let me get some. Sometimes, hey, Gano. That be put the whole up purse. How to change? How to change? That feeling for one? How to change? That be guacamole, bit What the fuck? Go ahead, take the rest of it. Guac a holy moly. I know I'm not damn. helping her when I give her the wrong stuff to eat. My dog rocking them new balance. Anything else? Post Malone no, rocking them. For lunch, she asks her niece to bring her two super nachos, two burritos, and a taco from Tate. I told you, burrito, to taco. calories. And Lupe is already way over what her calorie intake should be. Give me um, a burrito. They got that to you. Oh, wow. Oh, 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 hey, we got the whole Mexican jump wave. Need to get a big ass up start, you know what I'm saying? Doing a I salsa bit, you know what I'm saying? Do something, some as shit. Quickly as possible. And the worst part is, she knows what she's doing is wrong, but she still can't right. stop. Even before she finishes one meal, she starts thinking of what she's going to eat next. For her second lunch, Lupe hits up a fast food place and gets another burrito with a drink and onion rings, adding another 800 calories to her day. Damn! I hate my body. Look at this nigga. I hate how big I've got her. I'm ashamed of that. Maybe got like body. a dark souls symbol on his, his tattoo on this shit. Because of my weight. It looked cool. In my legs, which I thought that was a homie from the left. What the rupture. fuck is this? It really Ooh. has a stinging sensation. Randy oh, Statham is a 35 year old living in Texas and weighing 655 pounds. So it's safe to say that his life is anything but a walk in the park. A W R dear head. I've already gotten to the point where I had to move back to my parents' house. That's crazy. So I can get help from my family. Now, you get your ass up every morning. This is a perfect environment. Get out of bed, do like 15 push ups, you know what I'm saying? Do some sit ups. Bro, this is like the perfect, you know what I'm saying? And it's a it's a uh it's a um a carpet too. You know what I'm saying? So you now, can just Hey, bitch. Yo. And four kids. Look, she got they got to cross like up there too, man. They have to take care of. I like this little spot. His it's nice little room. It's definitely gotten worse over the past few years. What the fuck is this? You can't <laughs> physically do it. The small things for every day. What am I life. looking at right now? If... I love her. God damn, bitch. That be a feet look like a motherfucker. I shouldn't have to rely on my family to help me do everything. His body is actually starting to shut down because of obesity, and Randy feels like Duh. he can't do anything about it. But all of that fades into the background when it's time to eat. For what Randy, <laughs> the one thing in life that can solve all his problems. But it was athletic. Okay, see, he, he when he was younger, he he was actually you big. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Other people when they was younger, they don't really be looking like that. Coach, though. My dad would coach a lot of the youth teams, right? And he would tell me to eat as much as I wanted so I could get big. What? And use that size on the field. Everyone expected me to be the big guy. Should have been weight was, training while eating. Because I wanted my dad's approval. By the time I graduated from high school, I weighed right at 300 pounds. God damn. They'd be like, Mr. Incredible. But when I was in my 20s is when my weight really started changing. Mm -hmm. But Randy's dependency on food as a coping mechanism goes way back and is the major reason why he's reached this point. During that time, <laughs> Damn. I another that side profile of crap, is it? Pounds and was just over 400 when we decided to get married and start a family. But we couldn't get pregnant. And Danielle got tested, but it wasn't her. Ooh. So then I needed to get tested. She cheating. But I refused. So like not a nigga. I've Ding. always wanted kids. And if that wasn't possible, I don't think I could take the news. So Danielle oh. left me and we got a divorce. Not the just fuck? that, but Randy's weight has also affected his love life. Yeah. At that point, I got really depressed and started gaining faster than I ever had. You should have took that motivation. You know what I'm saying? Later. Became a gym bro. That's when I met Ash. You know what I'm saying? Be it, I'd be like, it off. Started and a year later, my boy, is that his, his shit? His shit ripping, bro. If you put that bitch on, your shit start tearing, bro. You know it's a problem, man. Come on, bro. Damn. My body started to break down because I was just getting so big, and that's I crazy. couldn't take. Yeah, your shirt sure start ripping too. I was too big to be a father. Okay, so that's she took Chloe and left me. And that was devastating. Damn. Randy doesn't okay, just see, eat to live. He should have really took that as motivation. You know what I'm saying? He should have been like one of them, uh, them heartbroken teenagers. <laughs> Hey, y'all know uh, 
like them them YouTube shorts where it's like like it be like you in the gym right? You like got like the butterfly things and like it be on like max fucking weight. You know what I'm saying? You look at it like what the fuck in that shit. You know what I'm saying? It be like he, some heartbroken teenager must be on this shit. Got, the got that be heartbroken. When I go out to the shop, I think trying to go all sister. out. All I want to do is get to the candy aisle. This Damn, is my dude. favorite section. Why do you need? You go to the veggie aisle. All that candy. See, like stuff like that. When I say stuff like that, it's like people be like. They be like, oh, you being mean, bro. I'm joking, bro. Dang, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, what? But when he gets around the food that he craves, it's like something just comes over him. Me, you need those. Food. Yeah, be a cookie monster. Yeah, because I can. They're mine. They're going in my room. First thing in the morning, Randy helps himself to a huge bowl of sugary cereal Damn. that adds up to around 400 calories. And then he heads over to the grocery store to start indulge eating a in banana all his favorite sugary morning. snacks. Even if I've just had You're something, that Saitama diet, see be. something I want. Still eat that. I'll wait till everyone's out of the house for fine. That be gotta put compact. We, what the fuck? Whatever boy? we just bought that's in the good kitchen though. too. Nothing else exists while I'm eating. Everything else just fades away for a few minutes. Right. Randy Including is a exercise. Cause I mean, hey, hey, think about it. He while he eating the food, right? He be he be doing this. He be doing some jumping jacks while eating the food. Somebody. He could be doing something. You're junkie. And no amount of restraint from his family members can ever hold him back from consuming tons of it in one Look, go. Randy blur, goes the, through the four or logo. five bags of candies every day, easily adding Man, we another know what that is. You ain't got a calories to his plate. <laughs> but that's not where he stops because the minute his family is distracted, Randy finds a way to get into the fridge and devour something sweet once Boys. again. Is dinner ready yet? These people do not be helping what themselves, bro. I just love food. <laughs> we know that. <laughs> we, we know. <laughs> I guess I have to get seconds. He definitely. You need let the kids get seconds, bitch. Let, let the kids eat. He's Damn. They can take up all the fucking food and shit. I would myself without it. <laughs> I'm a family. I want to be around for you. And right now. There I go. I Look at dad right there. Dad disappointed. He goes through an entire pie in dad. one sitting, which adds up to over 2,000 calories. I know that couch is sunken. <laughs> That be to the floor. And soon enough, it's time for another meal. For dinner, Randy helps himself to mac and cheese, mashed potatoes, and biscuits, which is another Biscuit thousand body, calories easily. Ass nigga. And that's just the first serving. In total, Randy is easily consuming around seven to eight thousand calories Holy per day, shit. which is unhealthy for anyone, let alone fuck? someone as overweight as him. Yo, what up? Yo, that bill. I thought that was like a sleep paralysis demon. <laughs> the way he just boom, boom, and it's all bleed all black too. Look at this shit, bro. <laughs> I got scared I for a second. Feel pain all over my body. My legs swell, and it's a constant battle to catch my breath. This man, booty when out. Shower, Why y'all recording them naked, bro? Hey, we can still see the shit. Bowling's not a good idea at 625 pounds. That would be humiliating <laughs> for my family to see me like that. Meet Gideon Yeadley. He's 33 years like, old, bro, living in just, Mustang, Oklahoma. Just and block in and just do what you gotta do, bro. Weighs 600. Stop letting that stuff get to you. I, it's hard, but it ain't impossible, pounds. though. And at such a young age, he feels like his entire life has been taken away from him. Like, I have to use the other. got a quick as he said. Not only in my armpits, but in between my rolls. That's crazy. Because I sweat a lot. Biscuit so rolls. They get raw. Jelly rolls. He's embarrassed of how bad things have gotten, but there's no clear way out of the situation for him. And I have to wear three shirts every day just to absorb the sweat and to hide the fact that my man boobs are so big and my fat rolls are so big. Bro, what? Because the one thing Gideon absolutely can't give up is Gideon. food. As soon as I start my day, I am starving. Starving. Yeah, I that brother's starving. <laughs> oh, and then I try to get up before them. I choose to eat things that aren't necessarily as healthy for me as I should. But I just They're not healthy, but that should be good. Without someone giving me looks, telling me that I eat too much, or criticizing me about what I eat. But I mean, you can't even happened. blame him for criticizing you criticizing you though because it's like All you continue life. to do it for his regardless. first meal of the day gideon helps himself to a ham and cheese sandwich and a whole just ice like how you can't make fun of somebody with a disability like they, they was the born with that you starts. can't do that that's but fucked up is the only way but it's gideon like you though it's like you doing it to yourself so you can't even blame people somebody make fun of you I, i'm not gonna make fun listen y'all i'll be joking when i make these videos you know what i'm saying i don't be serious bro like people be coming at me like what the bro what, chill Folks out nigga. With the trauma of it's his childhood joke, bro. the first thing that i noticed about gideon was his smile yeah. He was just making jokes and being really funny, and right. I like that. It was a lot being funny and fat, him. man. That's like a. He was always happy. A comp compilation. He was Wait, I mean, what? What? He, he That's like a, a comp well, combination. Like he weighed as much as he did, but he's changed so much since I've known him. 
Whenever yes. Gideon's dad and sister died, he just got depressed. And now he doesn't get up and move around a lot. Look at the dog, B. What the yeah, dog I'm doing? Gonna go out and mow. He need to be you doing that. Yeah. Even his loved ones Please are now starting her. to get concerned about his health. I know I should do more to help out. Oh, that hours back then. But it's so hard on me physically. That's been the biggest oh, shit. hurdle and the hardest thing to kind Damn. of swallow has been. Pause. I don't know where I would be without Kaylee. Just terrified that. Look, he looking at her booty. He said, Pause Kaylee. Hey, chill out, bro. Because she's not happy. Not only Gideon's own health, but his relationship with his family is also starting to get affected because of his weight. I'll start to crave something they have. These motherfuckers always pull up to the draft through, man. They be whipping that motherfucker doing these. Pull up to the draft through. Let me get like a let me get the whole menu. Gideon is eating himself to death. If there's one thing I know, it's a good apple fritter. I just want to shake him and just scream at him. Why are you doing this? Why can't you change? Facts. And once Gideon steps like that, out, it's impossible, it impossible for him to control his sugary fast food cravings, which add up to over 700 calories here. Damn, here. I want him to live. Jonathan needs him to live, and he's got to be healthy how. to live. <laughs> he put the whole fork but in his everything mouth. everything has to change. I'm at the point where I'm seeing my future. He on that P4. Big. Something's got to change. It might be like 2016 or something. Eating. For lunch, Gideon has a plate full of pasta salad along with a hamburger and fries. And that meal goes up to over 1,300 calories. I need a junior bacon cheddar milk. Junior bacon? What? Number Boy, that five. sounds some southern shit. I ain't never and had that before. A number nine. That's some deluxe shit. I need someone to help me because I know I'm never going to change on my own. The next day isn't any different because Gideon starts his day off with a huge fast food meal. Dang, even when nigga. he's on his way to the doctor. In what total, the fuck, we see bro? Gideon easily consuming over. The fuck just happened to the audio? <laughs> what the fuck just happened, bitch? We see Gideon easily consuming. The audio stop. I don't know. Look, that it. In total. That ain't much. That's they shit. Listen, y'all. That's pretty much. Let me say. Okay. It, it, that, that's the end. Gideon that's easily the end. Okay. <laughs> Listen, y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed. If y'all did, make sure y'all like and subscribe, bro. My six on Power Life. Hey, man. I say this every time, man. But, I, you know, I just want to keep saying it so people can hear me. I wish the best for people, bro. Like for these people, like I genuinely do, man. Like it, it, it be crazy as hell. Like it's hard, but it's like it's not impossible though. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not impossible, you know. Uh, bro, all, all they gotta do is just lock in, just really lock in, and just do that shit. You know what I'm saying? It ain't impossible. Like you know, just do what you gotta do. Tighten up, and like, especially if you got a girl, cause he got a girl, right? Like him, him, his girl. You know what I'm saying? Like bro, like hey, look, he, bro, he got his people with him. He got he got his people with him. I don't know if that's their kid together, bro. He got his people with him, with him. You know what I'm saying? So it's like he got that that motivation. Own health, but his. You know what I'm saying? He got that motivation. So it's like, bro, just lock in, do what you gotta do for your people, and it's like, bro, you know what I'm saying? Just tighten your ass up, man. Just tee up, you know. But listen, hope y'all enjoyed. If y'all did, make sure y'all like, subscribe, bro. I love y'all. I'm catch y'all next episode.